Badoom. And here we are. Hello and welcome to a very hey. special developer stream. Special because we'll be talking about Crimson Curse, our first expansion, coming March 28th. March 28th. Yes. Super, super soon. Uh, we have Ulster in the tavern, hey. who is the lead designer. You're the lead designer on this expansion, which is awesome. And what we'll be talking about today mostly is We'll show, we're showcasing 10 new cards, that's important. And we we'll also will be talking about the five cards which you already saw, which we posted on our website. If you haven't seen them, go to playgwent.com, check them out, they're there. Uh, if you click on the banner, you get to a website, you have card reveals, the cards are there. Also, once we go through the cards today, they will also be updated on that website. So you can go there, check them out after the stream, talk about them, record videos have fun the best thing i have to tell you is that we're just listening to the before the stream started we're listening to the to saw music from blood and wine yeah. it was so good because it fits perfectly to the flavor of this expansion so first things first like you've been like in the gwen team since the very very beginning yeah you're uh, known for Nilfgaard, of course oh yes, yes. the main uh, designer there. i'm on the team from the very beginning and uh, i started my journey with gwen a few years yeah. ago as a junior designer how does it feel to be designed the first expansion? I know, I know, we were teasing the expansion for a long time. We're like, we're we're gonna have it, we're gonna have it. And then uh, we, you know, we had homecoming, things slipped a little bit, but then we're back. We have it, right? Yeah. So uh, how was it to to, to work to, on the first expansion? To be true, it feels amazing. I mean, yeah. it's a big responsibility, mm -hmm. but I'm pretty confident that the stuff we'll show you today, they will like it. With great power comes great responsibility, yeah, that's as it. they say. Um, also, what we are doing this week. And please do not send me messages. We are <laughs> doing a closed PTR, which has been running since Monday, so yeah. only two days. But based on that PTR, like you, I saw you've been talking to all the players there, and you know. Yeah, we are gathering um, feedback. You know. Yeah, you're getting feedback constantly. constantly. What's so. what's the overall like reaction from them from field? Of course, uh, these are top level players, so. How do you I, feel I about probably it? shouldn't say it, but I'm a bit surprised because it's like Good. overwhelmingly positive. Oh. Like really, of course there there are some cards that needs to be tweaked, balanced, maybe few reworked, mm -hmm. but the overall overall reception is is great. Mm -hmm. Any weird interactions or in unexpected things that you discovered? Some surprises, something funny oh, maybe? Yeah, uh, I don't want to go into details, but there is a uh, oh, there is one a broken card, card there yes, for sure, yes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> which we'll not be mentioning today. With, 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 we'll get to with, that. In some combo, it was letting you play like six seven cards from your deck in one turn. Whoa! Yeah, pretty pretty wow. strong. Well, I pretty strong. We should just leave it there. I think it's, it's great. <laughs> I don't think so. So, like I mentioned in the beginning, we have ten new cards which we want to showcase, and of course, we also have five cards which we already showcased that we'll be going through because we introduced a lot of new keywords, right? And that's yes. that's that's also something that we're talking about. It's like we are doing right now something that we have never seen card games do. It's like we're introducing a lot of new keywords, we're switching things up, and we're also, I also know that you guys took some stuff which was already there and kind of changed it up, switched it up a little bit. So some, some, some new keywords kind yeah, of- Yeah, some new keywords will appear appeared. on cards that already exist in the but game. But we'll get to that. Yes. And yes. I think the best thing to start off with is of course, Northern Realms because everybody's talking about Northern Realms. It's like, yeah. you know, how do you feel coming into the expansion? How do you feel about NR? Because people are saying, oh, NR, it's not that good. You know, you know, you, you know the comments. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, we feel that it's on the thin line between being super weak or super mm -hmm. strong. Like, yeah. all they need is protection for their engines. Yeah. Protection. Yes, yeah. that's right. So that's yeah, right. Something like shields, maybe, something like that. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. We'll yeah. see, we'll see. Yeah, so if you think, of the overall theme, you have, you know, Dead Love, you have the Crimson Curse, and you have this whole story, and, you know, well, you need someone to be kind of, you know, the good guy, the guys with the shields. So let's get to that. Um, do we want to simply jump into Artificer as the first card? I we think, can, I we can, we can, we'll talk about the new I have set up here, here, so let's, let's show them. So Sintran Artificer, human, has something called Formation. Yes, Formation is an exclusive keyword mm -hmm. only to Northern Realms faction. Okay. And depending where you play in it, on which row, it will gain a zeal or mm -hmm. either plus one power. Okay. So this keyword gives you a choice and it it's, it's plays well both with orders mm -hmm. and the boost archetypes because if you will, you will choose mm -hmm. plus one power, unit okay. is already boosted and has synergy with, with other cards like Sightman, for example. Mm -hmm. 
Speaking of shield, how does it work exactly? Like if you had to say like how it works simply. For people who played before, it's mm -hmm. just old Quen. Okay. For new people, it's just blocking one instance of damage. Okay, so simple as that. Yes. So one instance of damage, then it gets, yes. then it's off, and then uh, when you damage yeah. the unit for the next time, it lowers its power. Yes, and I okay. remember a lot of people when we showed the first five cards, mm -hmm. When we, uh, Windhalmus was, uh, was showing the shield, they were mm -hmm. asking if there are other ways to give shields to unit. Speaking of him, and I'll find them. Yeah, actually Artificial shows like there are quite few cards that can give shield to, to another unit. So, answer is yes. Yeah, this is, this is the Windhelm. Yeah, uh, of course, premium is still work in progress, but I'm showing it, nonetheless. Because we like to live dangerously. That's right. Yes. Uh, so that's pretty much. Should we talk about him or as he was yeah, already I mean, we, we can go through him uh, once again. He has shield, which you mentioned, and every other turn on turn end, boost this yeah. unit by two if it has a shield. So if you keep uh, having shield on him, it yeah. pretty much um, so when you, gets yeah. boosted. When you play him, he's like four power, because mm -hmm. at the end of turn he turns into four power, and then your enemy have a choice to either take out his shield and waste the damage, or leave him be and let him grow. I really like his flavor text off of his head, but slowly drag it out. Put on a show for all to see. His death must serve as an example. <laughs> yeah. As an example. Ugh. Terrible. All right. So that um, pretty much answers the question of shield for yeah. players who were pretty much asking us after the first review at once you saw Winhelm how he works. Um, so let's move on um, to King, King Roginer. I don't know if I said uh, that right. I think that's I'll right. Them. I'm not sure myself. I might have, I might have mixed it. King. King Ragnar. Yeah. Where's the dude? Here he is. Not so, looking, not looking too, yeah. too shabby. So he's another card that works with the shield mm -hmm. archetype. Mm -hmm. And he can be used either defensively as a finisher. Mm -hmm. Let's say a lot of your shield survived. You know, yeah. your opponent didn't remove him. You can just play mm -hmm. Ragnar and gain the points. Yeah. Or in mostly mirror matches, let's say, you can use him offensively and take yeah. out all enemy shields. Which is probably even better. Yeah, when you were kind of designing him, I see he has a very high provision cost. Um, so pretty much when you're putting him into the deck, everything you do is pretty much centered around having yeah. shields. With two shields, he's mm -hmm. like 10 for 10. Mm -hmm. With more, he's just mm -hmm. really good. Yeah. So we had Quen back in the day and we had the shield. Why did you guys decide to bring it back again? Because the uh, game changed and we were not afraid of this mm -hmm. status anymore. Right okay. now we have bleed that mm -hmm. people already saw. We have more uh, one damage pings, let's call it, from yeah. orders or leaders. So design team is not afraid of the shield as much as it, w it was before. Okay, and it's, of it, course it's other easier. cards will also have shields. Yes. pretty much. Yes, so yes, pretty yes. Much shield that's is the way uh, you're going. Shield is mostly focused in NR, mm -hmm. but other faction also has it. It's not faction exclusive because we don't want it to to restrict such yeah. a cool mechanic only for one faction. Yeah, I also saw yeah. uh, a question here in chat. If a card has shield, and you will you be able to apply a lock? So it doesn't it doesn't counter these type of effects, right? I wanted to 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 talk about later, but if the question is there, I can, I can yeah. say it now. Like, so lock is changed, and lock will not remove statuses from cards anymore. Mm -hmm. Lock will only lo uh, remove the ability from the card. Okay. We changed it because as more statuses are coming to the game, mm -hmm. lock. We just have a feeling that lock became too strong. You know, it was like removing all the statuses, and we have positive statuses right yeah. now. Yeah, we have ability. It was just too good. Okay. So lock does not remove statuses anymore from the cards. But we also get to lock. We'll talk a little yeah, bit we'll about talk. that. Um, but since we already covered NR and we covered the shield part, I think it's time to slowly move, move on to the best faction, which is, of course, oh, if you know me, Scoia'tael. So, how do you feel about Scoia'tael coming into the expansion? Because I've seen some comments. Either the comments are great or meh or OP. Or what, what, what are they? We are feeling that Skyatel has a really high, hard time mm -hmm. to find synergies between you know, the, the other races. Yeah. There were Dwarves decks, there yeah. were Elf decks, but now it, was hard to create, yeah. it was hard to create a mix yeah. deck, and, and that's something we wanted to focus on in this expansion. And with that, um, it kind of also this, this kind of over, overarching theme is kind of like you have you know, the Crimson Curse coming and you have all this like negativity and the corruption kind of spreading across yes. the land. 
and you have kind of the squares all uniting, although they're all part of different races, they all unite yes, together. They unite to fight the, the death laugh and the curse. Exactly. And that brings in harmony. That's um, true. Uh, maybe but we should... Before we get to harmony, okay. I think I want to know something more about traps because I'm recently <laughs> playing um, Eldane. We actually have a tournament happening here in the studio, and um, don't tell anyone. I hope no one from the Gwen team who I'll be playing against is watching. I've been actually using Eldane in my tournament very successfully so far. I think Jason and is also using. Yeah, Eldane. Jason. Jason is also playing with Eldane. It's pretty He's, popular here. Jason is doing like super well. He freaking won two to two, zero two, two matches. Two, Two, think, two yeah. zero of two, two of his matches. I only yeah. did my first one, I have to do my second one. I don't have time yet, but still incredible. Yeah. And Eldane is the thing. And I want to talk about traps because I actually have... Uh, I will activate my trap card. Yeah. So there is new trap. Everybody are happy, there is new trap. Yay! But there's a spin to it, right? Yep. And I just, I just have to say before we start, I love this art. This is how I feel pretty much when I see... A concept artist working on a new card art, and I kind of that they, they work, and their screen is next to like like a, like a um, like a glass kind of wall, and I always like creep in on the wall, and that's that's pretty <laughs> much how I look. I just I just love this art, and of course I love this art because it's done by Lorenzo, and Lorenzo did the art for mm. Pafco, so it all comes together. <laughs> but Tramp I lo Mantis, I, lo I love the connections. Yeah, all this all this kind of yeah. comes together for me. Okay, Tramp Mantis, Trend. What's it? What's what's the trend? Oh, this is a new. Uh, we'll introduce new category trend. Ooh, yeah. Along dryads, and along other new categories in Skeletal, but nice. maybe I won't spoil it now. So we can so, expect new cool stuff. Yeah. Ooh. I, I don't want to go into details, but Trent and Dryad are not the, the only new categories. There. Yeah. So we have a lot of stuff going on. We yep. have the traps or the ambush, but we also have poison here. So let's di dive into this card. Like pretty much what happens here. So whenever you, uh, when enemy plays a unit, mm -hmm. it poisons immediately. Okay. And our trap transforms into a Trent Mantis. Okay. And when your opponent's card gets poison, what happens? After the first poison, nothing happens. Nothing happens. It's just poison. Okay. But if you poison it second time, it's immediately destroyed. Immediately? Immediately. Doesn't matter if it has shield or other well, stuff, it's just destroyed. So shield, nothing, so it works around all this stuff. Yeah. It's wow. it's, it's skeletal way, you know, for uh, to deal with big units. Yeah. So, on, so you have this ambush ability. And apart from that, it also, uh, you can immediately, on order, transform it into Tran Mantis Strike. That's right. That is so cool. Strike. Strike. So, but we were talking so much about the new With categories. poison is two strikes, you're out. Yeah, we should probably, you know, jump into the harmony and, ex and explain okay. what it is. No, I just really want to show this guy. <laughs> He's cool. He's cool. I, 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 I don't. Uh, what's a good uh, Dryad Ranger is a yeah, good example. We showed her. Because um, we We can explain it on her. On her. Yeah. Tum, tum, tum. I, I typed in Fryad. I don't know what's a Fryad. Fry other ranger works too. Ranger, there yeah. she is. There we go. Harmony. Harmony yes. is something that I'm super excited yes. for. It's uh, as you, for Squatel. It's as you said, it's like kinda different but flavorful tribe. Yeah. It's yeah. when all the races are uniting. Exactly. So they are living in harmony. Yeah. Harmony. You know? Of course, Squatel. To fight the Crimson Curse and Death Love. And harmony? Boosts unit by one whenever mm -hmm. you play Scoyatel unit with category you don't control. Oh. So first you play her. So the more you mix it up, the yes. better. Yes. If you play like Dwarf, Elf, Human, Dragon, Beast, we mm -hmm. count it and with, with expansion Scoyatel has like 12 categories available. Okay. Well, a lot. Whoa. A lot. Um, so if I play a Harmony card last, will it retroactively trigger Harmony? No, 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 That's no, the no, question. no, no, that, that would no. be good. good. Imagine yeah, that would be crazy, yes, right? Imagine Tribe working at the end. Yeah, if Tribe was working... Oh, no, that would yeah. be... No, that would, no, no. Just playing Nyker no. and, you know, getting like plus 10 or something. Yeah. Um, coming back to Poison, um, yeah. how do you feel overall about Poison? Because Poison is, is an interesting mechanic. Are it's, there any cards with Poison for me to play f f around with? And I already know one card that I want to show. Yes. I'll, get, I'll get to this one. Maybe we'll show it. And you can you can. Poison talk is a really bit. cool mechanic. It's like... New way to remove something, you know, it's not about dealing damage, but uh, right now we feel it can be dangerous, mm -hmm. so it's probably the least prevalent uh, status mm -hmm. from all the new four statuses when we're, we're introducing this mm -hmm. expansion. 
Yeah, and we have like, Forest Whisperer here. Yes. Uh, and also, like, she's also given a shield, which is yeah, interesting. Yeah, yeah, I said, I said, shield is not exclusive to Northern Realms, mm -hmm. because, hey, everybody likes to protect their engines, yeah? Yeah, yeah. And, uh, like, we were talking before the stream, like, most uh, bronze cards are engines, so yeah. you want to be protecting them. So oh, That's right, and, and you can see shield here. So, there is quite a few poison cards in the, in the scuttle. Yeah. I really like the dryads. They're 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 really cool, and they bring kind of new cool stuff. And I and I know that like the community was really expecting yeah, us yeah, to bring people in dryads were to the for game. Them. They're like, where are the dryads? Where are the dryads? We also back in back in you know a couple months ago, we showcased some of the uh, some of the first like dryad arts. So people were kind of you know player were, yeah. players were expecting. And they are already you know dryads in the live game who just yep. waited for for this to drop to yeah. support. I agree. Cool. And our gnome. Don't forget about gnome. Uh, gnome. The Burnaby. Yeah, yeah. 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 He's, he's, <laughs> yeah we're, someone was in the design team talking about him today. <laughs> yeah. People had a lot of. I hope um, he will finally see his, his play he deserves. Exactly. Moving on, monsters. Monsters. Uh, let's get into monsters because it's a, uh, you know, like we're going one by one. And how do you feel about monsters? Because people right now say that you know, monster is crazy. You know, yeah, very to fleshed out faction. Yes. Like I saw some people saying, like we favor monsters, and in, 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 in return, uh -huh. we don't favor some other factions. How do you feel about monsters coming in, pretty much, uh, uh, to the expansion? We feel they are the the, the, the most fleshed out faction out mm -hmm. of all of them. You know, all archetypes are working really well mm -hmm. together, mm -hmm. and I think monsters are a good example how we want our other factions to look. Mm -hmm. When we will be done with them? Yeah, so pretty much finalizing everything, yes, fleshing yes. everything out. Um, yeah, we know Crimson Curse pretty much when you think about it, you think about vampires, you think about blood, you think about dead love, you think about all these kind of cool necrorats, all these, all these uh, crazy dudes running around and flying around. Yeah. Um, so what is kind of the, the overall theme? Are you going into more kind of a control archetype with yeah. them or more of a swarm? No, kind no, of thing? This, this is totally different approach mm -hmm. for the typical monster. Mm -hmm. Faction cards because you know most monsters are uh, not interested in enemy. Yeah. They are consuming yourself, you know, triggering your death thing. wishes. Yeah, all the leaders like boosting yourself and stuff like that. So with this expansion, we take different approach, and we're actually going aggressive way. Okay. So expect more bleed, drain, damage, so more interaction. Pretty yes. Much. And a good example of interaction. Alp. This, this uh, he's lady, also, lady he's, Alp. It's also spoiling something, yeah? yeah? Like first, let's go through ability, so it's damage enemy by two. Yeah. If Alp is under Blood Moon. Blood Moon. Drain enemy by two. And I think everybody were expecting Drain to come back here, mm -hmm. yeah? So I'm pretty happy to reintroduce this mechanic with I vampires. Love drain. I'm really excited for Drain, to be honest. And uh, yes, it's also saying us something about Blood Moon. Yes. Tell me more about Blood Moon. So, so, Crimson Curse Ritual is summoning Blood Moon. You saw in the teaser, yes. Big Red Moon. Blood Moon is coming back to the game, but I don't want to tell you more about it right now. Oh! Yeah, I don't want to go into details. Okay. Nice I tease. I think we should, yeah, we should wait for it. Nice tease. Later. All right, uh, speaking of things that we showed and that we can talk about is our, is our little... I think this thing is cute, to be honest. The plumber. Yeah, yeah the plumber is, is a little bit cute. I mean... It's a little bit, you know, crazy, deadly, has blood dripping out of yeah. its, you know, mouth. There's a, there's a hang dude over there and all that stuff. But still, these guys are pretty cool. So maybe first we should start with ex uh, explanation of bonded keywords because... Yes, bonded because, is something that I've been asked about. Yeah, after reveal people were wondering what What's bonded, bonded is doing. Yeah. So bonded works when you already control the copy of a unit on the board. So the first plumber to play will give bleeding for, tetra, for two turns. Mm -hmm. And if you... Control plumber already, and you play second one. You give bleed for four turns, which is pretty mm -hmm. good if you will compare it to the cost of the cards. It's like seven for four. Yeah. Hmm. Which some people can say is like above the value, but mm -hmm. uh, there are actually quite few reasons for that. First yeah. is bleeding works per turn, okay, and works at the end of the enemy turn. So okay. you you do not get value instantly, mm -hmm. and enemy can also pass or you know. Yeah. You need four turns to get the full value, yeah? Exactly. Beside it, bleed can be purified. Mm -hmm. So, purification is... Purify is new keyword, I don't know we mentioned it. No. We will get to purify. So, purifier is removing statuses from the cards. You can exactly. purify a card to remove a bleed. 
Or you can also, I think we didn't mention it, mm -hmm. cast Vitality. Oh, Vitality is something we might yes, cover. Yes, yes. I think we, we, we didn't show it so far. So. Yeah, but I'm, one thing that I'm seeing is like you have a very low recruit cost on this card because it's, yeah. only, it's only four. Yeah, While yeah, yeah. if you think about, you know, the, 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 the point potential here, it's, it's, it's quite Yeah, yeah, that, 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 that was I was exactly, exactly talking about, yeah. yeah. It's like opponent can pass, can purify yeah. the, the But it's card. like damage over time, yeah. so it can't be something. It's not an instant, yes. right? You cannot end it, uh, use this card as the last card yeah. in the turn, yeah. because it will give you just three value. You know, there are many ways to counter it, so... so or you can just simply remove it, like yeah, so yeah. hard with On the first glance, it can look really good, mm -hmm. like too good, mm -hmm. because I don't want to say it's bad. It's actually a good yeah. card, but it's not too good. Okay. You don't need to be afraid there are way, way, ways to answer. So you touched upon Purify. Yes. Speaking of Purify, so uh, uh, we should probably uh, jump, jump to yeah. Feast of Blood. Yes. Feast of Blood. Feast of Blood. Beautiful art. Beautiful art. Yeah, I love it. Kudos to the artist. That's crazy. I think it's actually Garkin on the art. Yeah, it's Garkin, and I and I and I and I love uh, the the dude's face facial expression. <laughs> And then the dark Garkin looks looks hungry. Looks like me last night when I was rummaging through the through the refrigerator. Yeah, crazy. So as you see, purify. Cost four. Mm -hmm. Give bleed for six turns and mm -hmm. synergy with vampires. If you control a vampire, purify unit first. So purify means remove all statuses from the card. As I yeah. said, locks do not remove statuses anymore. Now mm -hmm. you do this with purify. Okay. Lock is for abilities. Purify is for status. Nice. I like how that's separate now. Yeah, it gives yeah. its own identity. That's very cool. More, more options in game, more options in gameplay, mm -hmm. and uh, so purify will work on what? All statuses. All statuses, negative, Including positive. Lock. Yes, cool. everything. You can yes, actually you can yeah. use purify to unlock the cards, your cards. If yeah. if you have a card that purify your own units, yeah. yeah, a lot of new options. A lot of people were asking about the mm. the, the unlock possibility when Homecoming came. So, so this will essentially take care of like this crazy brawler, assuming he goes through bleed damage, right? Yeah? Yeah, simple as that. That's, that's crazy. That is crazy. So let's move on to scale again. Should we, should we mention the Vitality or not? Vitality? No, I don't have it here. We might okay. mention okay. it Okay, so later. we'll leave it, we'll, we'll just spoil Vitality for you as a fourth new, uh, fourth new status. We can? Oh, we can talk oh, about it. Oh, we can talk, okay. So Vitality, I don't think we have a card like that, but we don't have a card regarding that we Bleed, show. regarding Bleed, yeah. Vitality is like Reverse the bleed. While mm -hmm. bleed is damaging unit one per turn, vitality is boosting unit one, one. by one at the end of turn. Okay. Oh. And they are uh, cancelling each other. Maybe not exclusively. It's not like bleeding unit. You cast vitality. It's the bleeding is already gone. Mm -hmm. It's depending on their timers, their values. Mm -hmm. So if you have unit with bleed two, you mm -hmm. cast vitality six. You end up with, with vitality four. Okay. Because six minus two is four. So Simple as I math. said, it's another way to counter bleed bleed with vitality you don't need to to take purify everywhere mm -hmm. you can just play vitality and counter the bleed with that makes sort of sense. and the other way around oh okay yeah cool learn something every day yeah simple as that um skellige skellige so everyone's favorite faction right now <laughs> everybody's talking about oh skellige nerf skellige krach, skellige krach, lippy, krach, 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 krach. lippy krach yeah. all i hear is lippy lippy and krach Okay. There's even an interesting story about them on Reddit. <laughs> Don't read it, kids. Um, how do you feel about the state of Skellige coming into this expansion? Uh, we think mm -hmm. it's in a really good place right mm -hmm. now. I see a lot of opinions that Skellige is too good. Okay. But actually, Jason already talked about it, talked on, Twitter. About it on Twitter. The graphs uh, shows that Skellige is the least played faction in the whole Gwent right now. Yeah. Oh. And it's not, eh, it's not, it's not, it's not that OP. And the Krach is not the, the leader with the highest win rate. Yeah. That's also the point. So we think Skellige is in a re really good place right now. Speaking of their favor, for the flavor, <laughs> uh, if you think about it, Crimson Curse, you have the crazy worshippers, the Spar Blood, you know, chaos everywhere. They're using this opportunity to come out of the shadows, like transform into beasts. They're all, they're all kind of, they're all kind of crazy, if you ask me. They all look very, very crazy. There's oh, this one. Cool. Huh? They're cool. They're cool. Crazy, Don't forget crazy that. and They're cool. cool. Cool at the same time. There's one art that I really love from Skellige, which I normally would go, you know, the 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 the, the, the Skoyadel way, but there's this one card. We won't be showing it today, but we'll be showing it later. But I'll get to that later. Yeah. But let's start of um, Of what Skellige introduces, what yes. Skellige brings to the game. Yes. What do they bring to the table? 
So actually, I will start with uh, saying that a lot of people were expect expecting or missing, let's say more, maybe missing, missing self-damage archetype in Homecoming, yes? And there was actually a reason why we didn't release the self-damage with Homecoming. It's because we were waiting for this expansion, for this file that mm -hmm. pulled to work with it. Oh, okay. So that yes. was pretty much, well, pretty much the idea. And uh, in terms of mechanic, the Skellige introduces exclusive keyword Berserk. Ooh. Which means ability, I mean, not ability, but Berserk effect triggers mm -hmm. when the unit loses half HP. I mean, oh. at least half HP. Interesting. Yes. Cool. Uh, Brawler had, had that. Yeah. Yeah, so. Yeah, with well, Disgrace Brawler is something well, so, that we'll get back to. Yeah, something but um, I want to talk about self wounding because that's something that um, Skellige is known for. And um, let's jump into Artist, which I have already open. Like I said, premium uh, version still work in progress, but still showing it because we like to live a dangerous life. <laughs> um, so what's up with this guy? It's one of the one of my favorites. This expansion, yeah. really. Like I was usually you know Nilfgaard man, but this expansion I'm full Skellige oh, train. Interesting. Yeah. Okay. So whenever a unit is played, damage it by half power, mm -hmm. and it works both on allies and enemies. So. Uh, if you play your units, you can mm -hmm. trigger your Berserks. Okay. We'll show it especially mm -hmm. later when we'll go to the cards with Berserk. Mm -hmm. And it also works with damaging archetype, you know, the, the, the enemy units are damaged, so it triggers your blood first and stuff like that. So. And this works, so this ability works on both yes, sides on of both the board, sides. simple He's, he's multi-purpose. Okay. Yeah. Whoa. That's pretty crazy. Yeah, that's why I'm sad. It's one of my favorite cards. Works okay. with every Skellige archetype. Interesting. Yeah. Speaking of Disgrace Brawler, which we mentioned uh, just a while ago, uh, will Disgrace Brawlers have a chance to lock themselves before Artist does his thing? Yes. Yes, he will deploy in our game work first. So if you play Brawler and the blood first condition will be met, he will mm -hmm. first lock himself and yeah, he won't be destroyed because then Artist will damage him by half power. If you're wondering who we're talking about, this is the guy actually we can show him right now fighting his way off. So you see, it's hmm. actually interesting because if you want to meet the condition, mm -hmm. Artis is destroying him, but yeah. at the same time, Artis is helping you to, 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 to get the condition, get the blood first. Mm -hmm. hmm. And uh, it's probably worth to mention that this is the only negative Berserk effect right now. Mm -hmm. Berserk will work for your favor. Mm -hmm. This is kind of different approach to the to the design. We wanted to try, you know, as a negative thing. Yeah. Let's try something negative. I heard a question that I would like you to answer is like, um, Berserk has triggered this ability when a unit is a half or less than its base power. Do we count up or down? That's, that's, that's the number one question we always get. Up. All numbers in our game are rounded up. Rounded up. Whenever you see half, it's rounded up. Easy. Yes. Easy clap. Um, so, you know, let's jump in to so the, the were bears, the were bears in this <laughs> script. I don't know who wrote that. Sounds like Mr. Slama. <laughs> uh, Svoboda fanatic. So let me find that guy. Another card that works uh, very well with artists. This, this yes, it's this guy. It's, it's this, this guy. guy. This guy. There so he's four for four, but on Berserk he transforms into a bear abomination. Ooh. That is actually five power beast token, which yes. is doomed. So if you will play him with artists, he's not only denying damage from him mm -hmm. because you do not lose anything anything it makes this card even stronger as it instantly turns into a into a five points i love this heart i love mm -hmm. this heart he looks cray cray hmm. this is the the bread and butter of of self-wounding skellige bear abomination love yeah, it you'll see the, those guys a lot Everybody in chat is typing, where's Nilfgaard, where's Nilfgaard? We kind of <laughs> skipped Nilfgaard in the initial uh, five cards, because I know you guys were best. still working and fleshing it out. Just, you know, best for the last. Best for the last, yes. I agree. Um, all right, let's, 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 since we started off the same way, how do you feel about Nilfgaard? Because Nilfgaard is something that people are constantly talking about, that it's a faction that you know, it needs to be fleshed out more. They don't really know what's the overall yes. theme of it. Like, how do you feel as, as a designer and as the, as the whole team, pretty much? How do you guys feel about so it? So as a, <clears throat> as the original, let's say as a creator, I feel I always felt like Nilfgaard is my baby. Of course, because it is. And I will speak the truth. We're not happy with it right now. I know we, we, we saw the feedback. We know the new reveal. You don't like it. 
and uh, we'll yeah. look into it. Yeah. We'll definitely look into it, and we're not happy where it is li right now. Yeah, and I know you guys are looking to the faction as a whole. We're yes. not only talking about Crimson Curse cards, we're talking about cards which are already in the base set and whatever. That's yes, the that's theme right. Is. Yeah, it kind of feels like you know it's been all over the place, no clear direction, yeah. kind of. And I've saw you know, but you know, if you think about it, right now coming into Crimson Curse, as you have. Also something totally different, because you have an empire which pretty much lives on, you know, taking parts of the world, yeah, taking it, conquering all the all yeah, the yeah, conquering and everything, like assimilating, assimilating, them. assimilating everything, yes. and that's how we smoothly yes. uh, go into assimilation. So maybe also a short introduction, like Nilfgaard also has this unique thing when you play a lot of enemy cards. Yeah, like you can resurrect them, you know, you can seize them. You can uh, play them from their deck with Cantarella, so we came up with Assimilation keyword. Mm -hmm. And units with Assimilation are boosted by one whenever you play a card that didn't start in your deck. Yeah. So it has a lot of mm. yeah, it has a lot of support with Crimson Curse. There are in Nilfgaard alone more than ten cards mm -hmm. that work with it. More than ten. More than ten. Really? Yes. And there are Holy. a lot of cool cards like Rod Tosser, for example. Yeah. The Stefan Skellen, Experimental oh. Remedy, Cantarella. Cantarella, of course, Bribery. Nice. A lot of, That's a lot of cards that you can use to trigger this effect. Um, question here Can we th expect from Nilfgaard, like fleshing out? Because I know you already said, like, reveal, not, you're not exactly happy with how it is. What about stuff like spies? Because people are like, spies, spies, spies. We're spies. actually introducing the, the new spy in this, in this expansion. Mm. Yeah. Spy is coming. Spy is coming. Not bad. Yeah. I see. I see a comment. Not bad. Not bad at all. Not bad. Not bad at all. Um, okay. Uh, we have another card that um, is totally different. If you think about it, I love this character. If you played Blood and Wine, you will know this character. Um, but it kind of plays into the overall feel that you wanted for Nilfgaard. Because when I was talking with you initially, you said that you want Nilfgaard to be a faction which kind of you yeah. know, plays Play with, with your hope. with yes. your opponents pretty much. Uses his strength against him. Exactly. Yeah. That's that's or the point of Nilfgaard. You're just trying to kind of mess everything up. You just come in, just mess stuff up, and and, and then they're like deal with it. And that's I think true. a good example uh, will be this. Oh, card. People are writing Vivian. Someone was yeah, right. Yeah, Someone yeah, was yeah, right. Yeah, it's yeah. Vivian. Point for you, sir. Yep. There we go. So Vivian is very cool and versatile <laughs> card. That set units power equal to provision cost. And the first thing I need to tell about her. That is it, crazy. It, she bypasses shield. Okay. Because shield blocks damage. Mm -hmm. And she does not damage. She sets units power. Okay. So first thing, she, she can bypass shield. That's the first cool thing about her. And second, that you can use her both defensively and offensively. Like, there is easy combo, let's say, with Meno. Yeah, Meno yeah. is two, two, two points, ten provision. So you're immediately getting eight points from her. Yeah. But at the same time, you can use her to remove points from enemy engines that boost themselves because they are usually bronze cards that mm -hmm. cost you know like four or five and then ca they can go up to ten or yeah or they, get, they get up yep. and then you play and then Vivian, you can just use like, Vivian and see ya. Okay, reset that's true that's crazy for example the Dryad Ranger with Harmony yeah that's a, that's a good example great example nice yeah and like if you if you play the quest you know Vivian you know her, her backstory yeah, if you yeah. haven't play Blood and Wine Go to the tourney, learn about her. It's a it's a it's a really beautiful yeah. quest, and it really it really you know hits home for me. I'm actually wondering if we'll have something more about her in expansion. Oh, maybe. maybe, maybe, maybe. Who knows? Nice spoiler there. <laughs> um, leaks, fresh leaks. Yes, some other things to discuss. Let's go back uh, to one of the cards which we showcased, which is is, summon. is a summon, which is which is a bomb. It's a bomb. It's a bomb. It's a bomb that damage, dam mm -hmm. damages the unit by three, and on yeah. death blow it moves adjacent units to other row. Uh, when we t when we has this thing called death blow, yes. will this trigger before or after death wish? Before. 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 Simple. Simple as that. You get mm -hmm. the answer. Um, with all these statuses coming in, of course, we talked about lock. Yeah, we so already mentioned that. I will probably repeat it. Yeah, for those so, who missed it. So lock does not remove statuses from the card mm -hmm. anymore. Now you have purify. Lock, okay. on, lock only removes ability. Purify removes statuses. Crazy question. Does yes. purify remove doomed? Yes. Oh. Yes. Actually, lock also removes uh, 
Doom's now. Oh. Learn something every day. Yes. Um, and a question that I also wanted to cover is um, that I get from people. Are you guys going to be looking into base set cards, which are already here, based on new stuff that is coming in with um, Crimson Curse? Because we see a lot of new keywords, a lot of new abilities, a lot of new things kind of happening. Yes. Are you looking back and going back? Like We don't want to go back again. But do you yeah. want to go back and look at the base set cards and kind of As modify things there? We will, but uh, as little as possible. Okay. As little as possible. This expansion is really big. It's it's four new statuses. If I remember correctly, seven new keywords, maybe eight. I think eight with dominance. It's eight. Yes. With dominance is eight. It's eight. So over hundred. Uh, I think hundred five. The collectible are hundred one, but hundred five. So under, over hundred new cards, and we just you know. Don't want to don't don't want to drop this on you and then the, yeah. the also the changes in the base that yeah we want to let you enjoy the the content we're releasing right now without worrying about the past and you know checking which cards changed from the from the life yeah plus we we don't want those comments again you guys changed everything again it's yeah, like, that's it's like true. change everything that's again true. take, take so, these cards change them again <laughs> that's simple as that no so, no changing everything as little, as little as possible as little as possible but answer is yes perfect all right and I think we hit the number ten. Actually, number 15, because we went through the cards which we showcased previously. Uh, like I mentioned, you can find all these cards at playgwent.com. You have a banner there called Crimson Curse. You click on it, learn more, and you have the cards. Also, uh, you can simply go to the new section at playgwent.com, where we'll have a summary of the stream with the stream. Once this is done, I'll go, I'll upload it. Um, we have everything ready for that. And starting tomorrow, keep your eyes peeled because oh, content yes. creators We'll be showcasing new cards from the expansion, and these are people from all around the world. So you don't know, you you don't know who you might you might so, be seeing something today from the United States, tomorrow Poland, and then you know France, and then Germany, Italy. You know, you, so you never pretty know. much surprise leaks. Surprise leaks. Yeah. Uh, unfortunately, <laughs> not coming for me. I'm still trying to get a card from Jason. I was just like one card, man, one card. But he's like he's like, oh, we gotta give it to other people. I, I, you We're know. working on it. We're working on it. We're working on it. Yeah, so we'll have also the keywords summarized in the news post. Yeah. So remember, um, just give me a little bit, of, you know, a little bit of time to upload everything. It takes time, and we'll have it there. So that's pretty mm -hmm. much the first stream for the expansion. Keep some curse, yeah. We'll be doing more, of course. And uh, don't forget about Gwen Open, uh, 16th and 17th of March, it's true. and it's gonna be focused totally around the expansion. So expect cool things Stay coming tuned. there. Yeah. yeah. Someone's writing Posca Posca in chat. That's, that's crazy. <laughs> no, no, no. No, we, 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 yeah, we're speaking English right here. All right, that's it. Ostre, thank you as always. Thank Pleasure you for having, having here. me here. Um, I know you have to get home to your little doggo, fresh, puppy. fresh doggo puppy. Dog, little Shiba Inu, actually. Shiba Inu. That's yeah, so cute. It has three days right now. I mean, I have it for three days. It has two, two months. That's so cute. All so. right, everybody. Take care. Have a good night, day, whatever you are. And we shall catch you later. Bye. Hey.